Welcome to the PureTech FilterWall F-Series maintenance video. Today, we'll guide you through replacing the filters on the PureTech FilterWall series, which should be done every 12 months or sooner, depending on your water quality and usage. Step one, remove the cover. Begin by unlocking the two latches on either side of the cover. Unlatch and remove the cover, setting it aside. Step two, isolate the water supply. Turn the green inlet isolation lever a quarter turn clockwise. This lever is located at the top left of the filter wall. Step three, relieve the system pressure. Release the pressure in the system by either opening a downstream tap or pressing one of the pressure relief buttons as shown. Step four, remove the filter housing. Use the spanner provided with your filter wall to unscrew the first stage filter housing, turning it from right to left. Support the bowl to prevent it from dropping. Repeat this process for the remaining housings. Step five, replace the filters. Discard the used cartridges and drain any water from the bowls. Clean each housing using the PureTech housing sanitizer or a mild detergent with warm water. Rinse thoroughly. For areas with heavy sediment, the first stage pleated filter in the F3 and F5 models can be gently cleaned with the PureTech filter cartridge cleaning gun two to three times within 12 months for reuse. Step six, check and lubricate the O-rings. Inspect the O-rings for wear and replace if necessary. Apply a light coat of food grade silicone lubricant included in your kit. Step seven, insert new cartridges. Unpack the new filter cartridges and place them into the housing, ensuring they are centered correctly in the housing base. Step eight, refit the filter housing. Refit the housings with the new filters in the correct order as outlined in your filterable maintenance guide. Turn the housing from left to right until hand tight. Ensure a proper seal with the spigot. Use the spanner to gently tighten, being careful not to over tighten the bolts. Step nine, restore the water supply and flush. Slowly restore the water supply by turning the green isolation valve. Turn on a downstream tap to flush the system for two to three minutes, removing any air and impurities. Step 10, final checks and completion. Check for leaks and record the service date. Refit the cover and secure the latches if needed. Your system is now ready for use. If you have any further questions, please contact our customer care team.